Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, a show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will show you how to install Measle Mod's Cabinet Lighting Expansion Kit. So grab your tools and let's get going. Here you can see the items that come in the Cabinet Lighting Expansion Kit. This kit includes the PixelWave board, Ethernet and power cables, light extension cables, light cable splitters and adapters, LED strips, channeling, clear channel covering, magnetic mounts, and channel holders with screws, double-sided tape, and zip ties. This installation assumes you already have the PixelWave speaker light kit installed. Before we begin this installation process, we need to prep the LED strips and install them on the channeling. Remove the LED strips from the roll and then grab one strip. Remove the backing paper and install the LED strip in the channeling as seen here. The non-connector end of the LED strip should be about an eighth of an inch from the end of the channeling. Gently press down on the LED strip to make sure the adhesive takes hold and then grab the channel covering and clip it into place starting at one end and working towards the other. Use a soft cloth to assist in clipping in the cover. Repeat this process for the three remaining light LED strips. Once complete, install the supplied end caps. Now grab the channel magnet kit seen here as noted by the purple dot on the bag. These will be installed only on the channeling that is attached to the back of the back box. Two of the magnets should be installed 8 inches from the non-connector ends of both light strips. The two other magnets should be installed as seen here. Grab the magnets from the bag and install them per the previous pictures. Here is how the back box light channel should look with the magnets installed. With the LED channels prepped, it's now time to begin installing the pixel wave board and cables. Before beginning this installation, be sure to unplug the pinball machine. To begin, move the pinball machine so you have access to all sides of the pinball cabinet. Now open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, and remove the playfield glass. Be sure to place the glass in a safe location. Next, Grab the back box keys from the coin door hook. Unlock and lower the speaker panel and remove the trans light. Be sure to place the trans light in a safe location as well. If you happen to have cabinet protectors, install them at this time. Here is a look at the pixel wave board I previously installed for the speaker light kit. We will be connecting the signal outside of this board to the pixel wave board supplied with the measle mods kit. Grab the Ethernet cable from the kit and plug it into the Ethernet out port, then grab the power cable and plug it into the 5 volt out plug. Route both cables down the hole in the back box that leads to the cabinet. Use the existing wire looms to secure the cables. Here is how the cables should look when properly installed on the speaker light kit pixel board. At this time, Raise and lock the speaker panel into place, and then partially raise the playfield and rest it on the ends of the support brackets. This will give you access to the back of the pinball cabinet. Next, grab a Phillips screwdriver and gently work the mesh loose in a small area so we can run the cable to the light channels. This mesh is stapled, and if you break a staple, I would recommend removing it with a pair of pliers. To keep the pixel wave board from moving, I chose to mount my board with double sided tape. This is not required, but a good idea if you ever need to move your pinball machines. Place or mount the board in the pinball cabinet as seen here. Now grab the ethernet and power cables you routed through the hole in the bottom of the back box and plug them into the inside of the pixel wave board as seen here. Be sure to tidy up any slack so it does not get pinched in the back of the cabinet. Here is how the PixelWave cabinet board should look with both cables plugged in. Next, grab the bags with the blue dot and green dot as seen here. The cables in the blue dot bag will be used to connect the LEDs for the under cabinet lighting and the cables in the green dot bag will be used to connect the back box lighting. 
Grab the long cable from the blue dot bag, unwind it, and then plug it into the PixelWave board connector. This connector is directional, so be sure to plug it in in the proper orientation. After connecting the two cables, plug this cable into CH1 on the PixelWave board. Take the other end of the cable and feed it under the mesh and out of the pinball cabinet. You will need to feed about 8 inches of cable out of the cabinet. This should be enough cable to connect the splitter and the LED strips. Here is how it should look with the cable installed and the other end fed out of the cabinet. Now take the splitter from the blue dot bag and plug it into the cable you fed out of the cabinet. Here is how it should look with the splitter connected. Now it is time to connect the cables for the back box LED strips. Grab the green dot bag and plug the board connection cable into CH3 on the PixelWave board that was installed with the speaker light kit. Next, grab the long LED power cable from the green dot bag and plug it into the board connector you just installed. Route this long cable using the wire looms up and out the top of the back box. You may need to remove the topper plug at the top of the back box. To do this, pinch the sides of the plug and remove it. Here is how the cable should look when properly routed out of the back box. Now grab the splitter from the green dot bag and plug it into the cable you routed out of the back box. Here is how it should look when properly connected. Now it is time to mount the back box LED strips. You will be using the strips that you previously installed the magnets on for the back box. You will want to mount the ends with the connectors to the back box about one inch below the top of the pinball machine. The ends with the magnets eight inches from the end of the channeling will go on the bottom. Connect the LED channeling strip to the splitter you previously installed and then repeat this process for the other side. Here you can see how the back box LED strips look when properly mounted to the back of the pinball cabinet. Now it is time to install the mounts for the LED strips that will go under the pinball machine. The mounts for the channeling will be placed about 10 inches and 33 inches from the back of the pinball cabinet. Grab a tape measure and mark these locations on both sides of the bottom of the cabinet. I chose to mount my strips using the included mounting brackets and screws. You can also mount them with the included double-sided tape if you don't want to screw into the pinball cabinet. I found it much easier to tap a pilot hole into the wood and then install the screw as I perform this task while laying under the pinball machine. You will need a Phillips screwdriver for the screws included with the mounting brackets. Repeat this process for all four locations. With all four mounts in place, grab both LED strips and snap them into place. Here is how it should look with the LED strips properly mounted underneath the pinball cabinet. Now grab one end of the splitter cable you previously routed out of the back of the pinball cabinet and plug in the LED strip. Repeat this process for the other LED strip. Before we close up the cabinet, Make sure the source selector switch on the PixelWave cabinet board is in the ETH position. This tells the board that the signal will be coming in from an Ethernet cable. With the cables and LED strips installed, plug in the pinball machine and turn it on. Here is how the LED light strips should look when properly installed and connected. If everything looks good, reinstall the trans light, Raise and lock the speaker panel, completely lower the play field, remove the cabinet protectors, put the back box keys on the coin door hook, reinstall the play field glass and lockdown bar, and then close the coin door. Since this Maisel Mods kit is an expansion for the PixelWave speaker light kit, you will see that both lights on the speakers and the cabinet are synchronized. Here you can see me cycling through the different colors and light modes using the remote that it was included with the PixelWave speaker light kit. There are many different options and patterns available with this speaker light and cabinet lighting kit. 
If everything looks good, turn off the pinball machine and then move it back into its original location. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.